welcome to Design Tip of the Week from yesimadesigner.com. My name is Martin Perhiniak, and in this video I'm going to show you a technique which can help you to combine text and images together in InDesign. It's always difficult to create an interesting interaction between text and image in any type of layout, so I would like to show you a very simple technique which is used in magazines, in brochures and all kinds of other publications as well. So what I'm going to do is to use Photoshop to create a simple mask and then I'm going to use that inside InDesign to create an out of frame effect. So I have this image here on the right and at the moment as you can see it's not really interesting to look at this layout. If I press W I can see how it looks without all the guides and I prepared already another version for the same layout where I have the image in the middle but at the moment the text is a bit overlapping the image so this has already a bit of more interaction um, because the image is in the center of the whole layout but I would like to make this even look better so what I'm going to do is to open this image up in Photoshop so I hold down Alt and double click on it with the selection tool to open this Photoshop file up and once I have this open, I can make my selection. So I'm going to use the selection tool, the quick selection tool. So I just select that. If you click and hold on to the magic wand, you can switch to the uh, quick selection tool. And it's a brush, so you can just simply draw over to whatever you want to select. In this case, I'm selecting the statue. So I just select the hand as well something like that we can zoom a little bit closer just to double check if we have a good selection here or around the edges and just make sure we don't cut off any details so that looks quite good maybe again here around the hand i can improve my selection and if i have details that are selected and shouldn't be in the selection i can hold down alt to uh, just finalize uh, the edges or improve and refine the edges something like that so yeah that looks quite good already now we can always improve it later if we want because i'm going to save this as a selection so what i do is turn this into a mask clicking on the mask icon here at the bottom of the layers panel will select this part of the image and will it basically turns into a mask so that's exactly what I wanted to achieve and I'm just going to save this. So I will save it as a separate file. I just save it as the same image but I call it masked. And I click on save and now we have this version. So now if I go back to InDesign, I can now place the same masked out version of the image here on top of the original one. So what I'm going to do is to first of all make sure that the composition is the way I want it. So I can always click in this uh, center point, that's the content grabber tool, and I can make this bigger a bit. So I'm just holding down shift while dragging the corner points just to make the statue look a little bit bigger and make sure it fills in that space nicely. So something like that, we can move it a bit further down as well. It still shows everything, uh, but uh, the statue has a little bit more prominence in this uh, layout. So now I select the whole image frame and choose edit, copy, and then choose edit, paste in place. That will place this image on top of everything else below it. You can see already that it's on top of the text as well in this composition. But if I move it to the side, you can see how it looks. So we have the same image frame twice. And it's very important that the location or the position of it and also the size is exactly the same. Both the masked version and the original one has also the same canvas size and resolution. So if I replace this image with the mask version, it should fall into place perfectly. So I'm going to select this image frame here and just choose File, Place. So that's the one on top. And I choose the masked PSD file. Then I click on Open and it should already replace it. But at the moment, we don't really see any changes. And the reason for that is because we still have the original one which wasn't masked, so which has still all the background details. But as soon as I select that image, and probably the easiest way to do that is to use the layers panel, because here I can see exactly what I have on this page. 
So I can see I have the out of frame most PSD and the out of frame PSD. I selected that, so the original one, and I can drag the top edge down, maybe until here, to have the statue coming out of its frame. So that's actually the effect I wanted to show you, but we can always improve this, drag the frame even further down and maybe align it with the text, which makes it even more interesting. And after this, we can still select that frame and maybe even we can add corner radius on it to make it even more interesting. You can click here on edit corners and we can add corner radius on all the corners or if, you, if we want, we can just hold down shift and add corner radius on one of these corners or maybe two of them, the one on the top. So you can see that now we actually have two images on top of each other. This one here on the top has only the statue on it, but because it was composed exactly the same way as the original one with the background, that's why it doesn't really show and it looks like the statue is coming out of its frame. So that's all I wanted to show you today. I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you want to learn more about Photoshop, InDesign and Illustrator, make sure you join me next time as well here on yesimadesigner.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. Also, if you want to learn more about design, check out my in-depth online courses on my website, yesimadesigner.com.